I'm Alexis Alcott, Product Marketing Manager at Microchip Technology. In this video, we're going to show you the basic setup of the CAN peripheral using MPLAB Code Configurator. For today's demo, we'll be using the 5 volt CAN LIN starter kit featuring the DSPIC33 EV family. Before we start, please make sure you have the latest MPLAB XIDE, XC16 compiler, and the MCC plugin installed. For this demo, you'll also need Microchip's CAN bus analyzer tool, part number APGDT002. First, let's open a standalone project in MPLAB X with the DSPIC 33 EV256GM106 as the target device. Pick it on board debugger and XC16 compiler toolchain. Now, let's fire up MCC from the toolbar and navigate to the Project Resources tab to set up the CAN module. Let us first configure the bitrate settings. To understand more about the CAN bitrate timing, you can refer to app note AN754. Set the system clock frequency to 80 MHz by selecting the primary oscillator with PLL as per the settings shown. Note that MCC also has a Notifications tab that provides hints and warnings to indicate configuration discrepancies. Set the bus speed to 250 kilobits per second, and you'll see that MCC automatically calculates only the valid time quanta options based on the system clock and bus speed selected by the user. For the time quanta selected, MCC also provides valid sample points. Once you choose a sample point, the propagation and phase segments are calculated. It's recommended to enable the interrupt option. Let us proceed to the filter mask configurations. Input the message IDs that you want to transmit. MCC has an intelligent algorithm that calculates the filter and mask settings for the given set of message IDs. Click on Add to validate your settings. For this demo, the DMA channels need to be configured for CAN transmit and receive. RF0 is set as CAN receive, and RF1 is set as CAN transmit in the PIN manager. After successfully inputting all your configurations, click on Generate. MCC creates easy to understand C code, reducing your startup time to just a few minutes. Ensure that you have the Transmit and Receive Enable APIs included in your application main. Now fire up the CAN bus analyzer. Click on Hardware Setup and set the CAN bus speed to 250 kilobits per second. Set the mode control to normal and the termination control to on. The two ends of CAN are now configured for message transmission and reception. When you click the Run button, you'll see the data has been received. MCC offers you various benefits, such as generation of non-blocking code that allows easy RTOS integration, significant reduction in configuration time, elimination of manual configuration errors, and seamless migration as MCC is validated on multiple platforms. So take advantage of our MPLAB code configurator for quick and hassle-free CAN configuration. Thank you for tuning in, and for more information on MCC, please visit microchip.com slash MCC.